Welcome back everyone, Jim here. Well, for all of you folks out there that's ever had a flooded basement, I feel your pain. Uh, we came home the other day and my sump pump stopped working and there was two inches of water on the floor. So, of course we panicked, had to get something done right away. So, I'll show you what uh, I did to resolve this so that maybe it won't happen again. This is what I had for a uh, sump pump and what happened was that the float uh, has messed up. I'll see if I can show you without dropping my camera in the water. <laughs> but the whole float is kind of just flopping around and what happens is it gets gets jammed and when it gets jammed it won't turn the pump on. I'm sorry there's not a very good photo here but uh, so what I'm gonna do the pump works fine the pump works fine uh, it's just the float turning it on and off and what happened was it got jammed didn't turn the pump on I had about two inches of water here and it pumped out quite rapidly so I mean the pump is fine so what I've done is I've bought a new switch and what I'm going to do is hook this new switch up and I'll show you uh, a photo of the switch here in a moment. Okay so here's the unit folks and uh, I opened the box obviously and it has nice instructions I won't go over them with you, but it's got nice instructions with it. It was all nicely packed. It's got a card, their business card, and then the unit itself. The unit itself includes the sensor and high. This is high, high, and this one's low. They'll go on the uh, pipe and. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's a pretty easy setup for anybody to do. So follow along. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to need to do is unplug the pump, obviously. And then once the pump is unplugged, I'm going to take and uh, take this switch and make sure that it's up in the closed position. I think what I'm going to do is take the bulbous float right off. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so now that the bulb has been removed, I can, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a switch on the back side, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to secure that in the up position with a tie tie. From now on, the pump will always be on and will be controlled by the new switch. If you recall, the new switch has high and low monitors. Black is a low, red is a high. There's enough wire, if I wanted to plug it in upstairs, I think I probably could. So a lot of this wire I'll just be... Uh, putting into a coil. Now let's see how hard this is to do. I think what I'll do is I'll start it up here and then slide it down. Be the easiest way. Thank you. 
and this black one goes down the way you want the pump to uh, stop. So I'm guessing that's a good level right there. And then what I'm going to do is I position it around to the back because I don't want splash. Okay, so there's the lower one. Now I've got to unravel and do the top one. Then using the other tie tie, position this one where you want it to stop. And I'm setting them about about a foot apart. Okay, so that's the sensors in place. They haven't uh, taken all the wire yet and done anything with that. So there's a lot of wire here left. But then it says to plug it in and it should give me a, a red light to start with. There's the red light. You can't see it from there, but <clears throat> it didn't go to green, so apparently that means it's not in any kind of deep water yet. Okay, so the next thing it says to do is plug the pump in. So let's plug the pump into this unit. All right. And I would say it's working the way it's supposed to. Nothing come on. Now when I add water to the pit, it should change the light up here. You can't see it, but right now the light is red. The light is supposed to go to green, meaning it's, it's uh, been activated. And then when the water hits that top red one, that's when the pump should turn on and pump it down to the next one. Okay, so I'm adding water. bucket should do it. And she's gone on. And she's shut off. Good job. Now the only thing I'd like to see is where did she shut off at? Just to make sure. Yep, she's just below the bottom switch. So, I would say that worked pretty good. Uh, the next test will be when I get water in here again. And I'll see how it works. But right now I'd say it's pretty successful. Pretty easy to set up. So, you know, if this, is if, if this video helped you at all, you know, give me a like and a subscribe. I always can use thumbs up. And uh, I'll get back with more videos before you know it. Thanks.